Hello everyone, my name is Jake, and I'm here to help you find the entrance to the Hinterland, which took me over 60 hours of painstaking experimentation to find out that it's actually pretty simple. I'll walk you through how to get there, mention some important items and areas you can unlock while we do, which do include a major questline area and a few items you're 100% going to need for the final boss of the DLC. Toward the end of the video, I'll mention some pretty insane lore implications for this area, so here's your spoiler warning now. If you have any more questions while you're playing yourself, make sure to follow me on Twitch where I'll be streaming Shadow of the Earth Tree basically every day and answering any questions that anyone comes through there may have. With that said, let's get going. From the Morth Ruins side of Grace, you're going to ride into the ruins until you see a building with a small door entrance. Once you go inside, you'll see a deep pit that if you navigate correctly down the rubble, you can make it to the bottom. Once you reach the bottom, follow the tunnel until you find a ladder leading through a hole in the roof. The top of the ladder leads to a well which gives you access to Bonnie Village. Rest at the side of Grace, and instead of going straight through the village, we're going to take a detour toward the left side. Keep heading northeast and jump over the large ravine, and if you keep heading north, you'll find a headless body that will give you the O oh Mother emote that we'll need for later. From here, we actually want to go through Bonnie Village and cross the wooden bridge to the east. Keep following the main path through this area until you find a furnace golem. Quick tip here, there are some furnace golems that you can't kill by hacking away at its legs, You'll be able to tell the difference based on the thicker armor around their legs. To kill these golems, you'll need to craft some hefty throwable pots, get a height advantage, and throw the pots into the burning openings on top of the golems. Throwing three hefty pots into the furnace is usually all it takes to take them down and claim your reward. From here, we're going to keep heading up the hill to the north until you see a large opening of a tunnel within a hill leading into the back of the Shadow Keep. Once you reach the end of the tunnel, you'll find the entrance to the Church District. Now, if this is your first time here, you'll find the rooftops lined by water. I'll show you how to filter out this water so you can get access to even more of the Church District below. Just keep going from rooftop to rooftop until you find a hole in one to drop down into. Once you do, look behind you and you'll find a small door that will lead to an interaction with one of Mesmer's faithful knights, where you can give him a certain item that will grant you a pretty cool reward. But continuing through this area, you'll find a side path to the left after you deal with another fire knight. Follow this path after dealing with some bats, climb up a ladder, and you'll find a lever that will filter out all of the water in this area, leading to even more awesome discoveries. If you continue back to the main path, you'll be able to jump on the arms of America's statue and get yourself another valuable Skadu Tree fragment. You can continue on this separate side path that will lead you to a very long elevator that will take you back up to the back area of the specimen storehouse within the Shadow Keep. From the grace you'll find there, you'll see a long ladder that will take you up even further. You'll see this fire knight looking away from you at the top, which you can take care of pretty easily with some sneaking. Go up to the one set of stairs near here and take a quick right around the bookshelves. Behind here, you'll find a large opening in the wall and you'll get your first look at the hinterland out in the distance. From the side of Grace around this path back inside, you'll find another lift taking you to the upper areas of the keep. Just follow the path around until you find another set of lifts. Small tip here, just send one of the lifts down and jump onto the top of the other lift to be able to get this Firekeeper summon. From these lifts, if you just turn around, you'll see a balcony if you drop down a couple of levels with an opening in the wall. Follow the path here and you'll find another elevator that will take you down another side path that will lead you to yet another long elevator ride down to the back entrance of the Shadow Keep. If you take an immediate right, you'll see a statue of Merica and a message on the ground saying, Have mercy for the spirited away shamans. On this message, use the O oh Mother emote we found earlier, and the statue will slide to the side and grant you access to the beautiful hinterland. So now that you have access, this is where I'll be getting a little spoilery with what you can find in this area. So if you don't care about that, will continue, but here's another spoiler warning for you. Progressing forward, you'll come across two tree sentinels that you can fight separately that give you a boatload of runes each. Once they're defeated, you'll have access to two different side paths. If you go left across the bridge, you'll be able to make your way toward a finger shrine where you can continue Ymir's questline. 
I'll be making a completely separate video on that. But if you take the right path up the hill, you'll find a beautiful shaman village gleaming with golden flowers. At the center, you can find an incantation called Minor Erd Tree, which if you remember is an incantation Melina can use if you summon her for the Morgoth boss fight. Its description mentions that Merica bathed the village of her home in gold, knowing full well that there was no one to heal potentially insinuating that this area of the hinterland is Merica's homeland within the Shadow Realm. If you continue up this hill, you'll find a dead tree and what looks to be the body of Merica herself. The item you can find here is the Golden Braid, which boosts holy damage negation by the utmost. For the last boss of the DLC, this is a must have in my opinion. You'll know what I mean when you get there yourself. The description says, What was her prayer, her wish, her confession? There is no one left to answer, and Merica never returned home again. This basically confirms with me that this village is where Merica first set foot and where she called home. But all that used to live in this village had left her, and she was the final one to leave. I'll quickly mention that if you continue through the backside of this area, you can follow the mountain down to a small entrance to the top of the tower below. You can find a puppet here of a character that has to do with Ymir's questline, and can take you back to where he's located. And that's really it. I hope this video helped you because I certainly needed a video like this when I was trying to find the entrance myself for over 60 hours. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.